I was recently reached out to by Glorifier, asking me to take a look at and review their Glorifier electronic earbud hearing protection for shooting. I'm Dustin, and you're watching Guns of the West. Now, just for the sake of full disclosure, these earbuds were sent to me by Glorifier at no charge in exchange for me doing a video on them. But having said that, I don't do dishonest reviews on my channel. If I don't like something, I'll send it back rather than bash it. But I'm only going to bring it to your attention if I think it's something that's worth looking at. And I do think these are. But I don't want to just do a review on earbuds in this video. I thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about the importance of using hearing protection in general when shooting. I now have hearing aids, and I'm not that old. I don't feel like I should have to wear hearing aids yet, but I do because of damage to my ears that was caused by, you guessed it, firearms. Now, in my adult life, and certainly in my professional firearm instruction career, I always wear my ear protection, have for many years. But when I was younger, you know, just getting into firearms and just old enough to get into firearms, my friends and I, you know, like many other people that age, we were too cool for that stuff, and we didn't wear it very much, if ever. I, I remember wearing it sometimes, but not nearly enough. And hearing damage, it's a cumulative problem. It builds up over time, and so you may not realize it's happening at first. Now, this is something I've become passionate about because of my own hearing damage and the limitations it causes to me and the frustration it causes to my family as I'm constantly saying, huh, what, things like that. So it's something that I've put some research into in recent years, and I've learned some interesting things, like the decibel scale that we measure the intensity of sound on, usually. It's a logarithmic scale. So to give you an example of what that means, if you're not sure, when a person's talking in normal conversation, sort of like I am right now, my voice is making, on average, about 60 decibels of sound in intensity. My washing machine down in the basement that washes my clothes, it makes about 70. Doesn't sound like a whole lot of difference, but that difference, every difference of 10, so from 60 to 70, the 70 is 10 times the intensity of the 60. A sound that registers as 80 is 10 times the intensity of 70, and so on and so forth. Firearms get very loud. 22 long rifle is about 120, 125, something in that range. So that get, starts to get pretty. Compare that, you know, multiplying by 10 times for every 10, the sound of my voice, that's getting into dangerous sound. And, you know, I have a 357 Magnum that you've seen in a video. I was actually using these earbuds for that successfully. But that, I believe, has a sound of about 165 decibels. So, it's very important to protect your hearing. So with that said, let's take a look at the Glorifier electronic earbuds. So here they are in the packaging that they come in. And this is not going to be a true unboxing video because I've already had these out and been using them quite a bit, even in a few videos lately. But I will just kind of give you an overview of how they come. Shows here what they come with. It says a pair of electronic earbuds with a pair of medium earpieces cap and a pair of medium ear tips installed. But it also comes with a smaller size and a larger size. Now the medium that just happens to be installed by default happens to fit me perfectly, but if you have smaller or larger ear canals, uh, you can switch it out. It says uh, anti-lost rope. I haven't bothered using that, but I'll show you it to you in a moment. A data cable, uh, let's see the small and large, and instructions. So let's go ahead and just pop this open. The instructions are not in here anymore. I've already had that out. This is a little charging cable, and I'll show you in just a moment how it charges. This is that anti-lost rope. I guess you can just attach the ends and maybe hang the earbuds around your neck. I tend to just set them on the shooting table if I'm not wearing them. These are just the extra sizes of the different pieces that are down there. And then here is the case that you can keep your earbuds in. It's branded. On the back, it's got, uh, let's see if I can pull this open. <laughs> if I can get my fingernails under there. That's where the charging cable plugs in. So you can actually charge the case. And I know that's not necessarily uh, unique. A lot of people have, you know, like music headphones that have a case like that. But once you charge the case, it will charge the earbuds, even if it's not plugged in. So that's pretty nice little button here to unlock it or unlatch it anyway and open it up and then they just sit right there this is the one for the right ear this one is for the left and when it's plugged in this little light here will light up showing the level of charge 
And then over here, I'll bet if I push this button, you can actually still see that will light up while it's charging. And now that I've pushed that, you can see that case has about half a charge on it. And these, the lights had been turned off. So they're actually fully charged and ready to go. They're just on because I pushed the power buttons. And that is the power button, that rectangle button right there. They both have one. So you put these in your ears. You can easily feel that button. And you turn them on separately. Um, with some things, I don't know if you can turn on one and it might just turn both on. But these, you do turn them on individually. Well, let's pull them out. Here's the one for the right ear. Don't worry, I cleaned it before the video. <laughs> I do recommend, by the way, clean your ears before you put these in there, or these will come out nasty. But this is the piece that goes into your ear canal. You can see it's got a hole in it, because being electronic, these will pick up the sound around you with a microphone. I believe that's the mic right there, that little hole, and play it to you. So I can actually hear better when I'm wearing these than if I'm not wearing anything. They, they work almost like my hearing aids that way. Although I will say, the sound quality that comes through is nothing like my hearing aids, but then again, my hearing aids were also many times more expensive than this. This piece up here just goes sort of into the upper part of your ear and stabilizes the whole thing so it's not rotating like this. And once you've got it in and got that positioned, I have to say it's pretty comfortable compared to a lot of other electronic uh, buds I've tried and even non-electronic ones. I am really happy with these. So again, you've got the pair of them there. The charging case, they work very well. When I put these in my ears, they truly do just completely deaden out sound all around me. But when I turn them on, like I said, I can hear things around me. And then, of course, when the sound gets to a certain decibel level, it will shut off. So it blocks out gunshots and other dangerously loud noises. But you can hear everything else. I love electronic hearing protection because... You don't have to yell to each other at the range or when you're, you know, if I'm out in the desert with my family, we're not screaming. We can talk normal. And if we're using electronic hearing protection, we hear each other just fine. So these really are fantastic. I, again, you may have noticed them in a video. And like I said at the beginning, these were given to me for free, but I don't do dishonest reviews. If I don't like something, I probably won't give it a negative review, but I'll send it back. I've done that before. But if it's good, I'll show it to you, and these are good. If you're interested, I will put the link to them down in the video description. But again, I do highly recommend protecting your ears in general, but using these particularly, they're very good. Well, I really do hope you enjoyed this video today, maybe even found the information helpful. I cannot stress enough the importance of protecting your hearing, especially those of you who are new to shooting. Start out right. Don't end up with, like me having to wear hearing aids all the time and like so many other people who have damaged their ears that way. Please don't forget to click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos. And if you look in the description, you'll see where to find me on social media as well as where to find Great Guns of the West products. Thank you so much for watching.